of when we could hit 100 degrees here in Jackson before the week is out. Coming up. All right, thank you, David. Well, new at five high drama on the interstate today when a grass fire created a scare for both firefighters and drivers. It happened on I-20 in Bovana and the thick smoke covered the roadway, making it very hard to see. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons was there when the fire took off. We were on our way to cover another story. Yes, operator, I'm on I-20. When we were calling 911, we found ourselves in the middle of a grass fire gaining speed. Trucks and cars in the interstate pushing through the billowing smoke. Visibility was non-existent at times. In a few short minutes, volunteers from Bovina arrived. Just two of them at first, trying to stretch a water hose to reach those hottest spots. God, you get a little too close to the road. Yeah, no, thank you. And no one feels comfortable standing between the fire and the traffic. He can't move it. He's not slid off too far. If he moves, he's going to go follow. You want to go ahead and add some more hose to that? I'll walk with it. The fire is pushing past the interstate. What comes across your mind when you get a call like this? Thank goodness it in the vehicle. I don't know how this started. I can't say how it started. It could be a hot muffler. Somebody pulled over for a second. A match, a, you know, just you name it. It's chain, tractor, the right concrete. And stuff. Okay, David. That's it. It's good. And the challenge for these firefighters is their closest backup is in Culkin, about 10 miles away. And those guys are volunteers, too. A little frustrating, to say the least. Frustrating because someone else's carelessness with a cigarette butt may have caused it. The fire was contained and kept from reaching a farmer's field. And these volunteers are going back to their day jobs. You ready to back up, Ken? Hoping drivers will be more careful in these hot, dry conditions. In Bovina, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. Well, firefighters say they still do not know what caused that grass fire. No one was hurt and no accidents happened because of their fast work to put out those flames. Tonight, about a dozen Jackson residents are under a boil water notice. The affected area.